Peace, 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 family. How we doing out there? I know it's been a while since I've been live. It is Chicago Crypto Hustler, Bitcoin Block Bully, coming to you once again with an early rising crypto update. It is April 26th. Um, going on about 7.13 a.m. Central Standard Time, Chicago time. We are streaming live right now. Um, I don't even remember what price Bitcoin was the last time we streamed. We are right now currently sitting at 53,551. ETH is it hitting um, some all-time highs from the last time we streamed, coming in at 2,500. BNB is probably one of the ones to take the cake at 539. Um, definitely can't turn our eyes on Dot, Ada, uh, XRP having a phenomenal uh, comeback. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? We got people tuning in already on the um, on the, on the YouTube side of things. What's going on, everybody? How we doing out there? Um, I do have Discord family live with me right now, though I don't know if y'all can hear me. If y'all can, give me a little mic check for those in the Discord. And then let me see if those on YouTube can hear y'all in the Discord. And then... And then see if y'all, for anybody that's that's listening in, see if y'all can hear yourself as well. Brother Michael over there. Michael G, what's going on? I see you on YouTube. Let me see. Let me get the uh, IG up and running as well. Let me see. Hold on. Let me get IG up and running. Let's see. Hold on. We got people tuning in. People tuning. Okay, we can hear. It's a bit distorted. Y'all can hear. I'm a bit distorted. Is it those in the Discord that are a bit distorted? All is good. No, I was saying it. They were saying it. Y'all was distorted or was I distorted? Michael G, can you hear the brothers in the Discord? Oh, they saying the Discord is. Okay, they say the Discord is a bit distorted. But y'all y'all can hear them a little bit though, correct? Mike G, what's up? Mike G, part of the tribe. What's the word? I work out on. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's that early morning. What is it? Only 7 a.m. right now? Let me see. So we are going to be streaming live today, uh, YouTube, Discord, as well as uh, IG. As for as long as I want to hold the phone on IG. Um, I need to go get one of them little phone holder things. I'll be making my work too hard for me. Hold on. Uh, um. Yep, there we go. So now we are about to be going live. Let me see. Got about 17 viewers. I hear Brother Michael. Okay, he said he does hear Brother Michael. That's cool. Flip back over. Let me see, checking connection. Let me turn that off real quick. There we go. There we go. And we are live right now. We are live right now. So now we're streaming IG, YouTube. Discord. I mean, it's Green Acres right now. Green Eggs and Ham. Uh, Jolly Green Giant. You know, whatever you want to call it. Um, we do got a phenomenal, phenomenal, uh, phenomenal comeback from the little, little short downtrend we had. Well, some of us had a phenomenal comeback. Some of us more so than not. Um, we do see Rev. I mean, Rev's had a, a hell of a run though, just, just as much as Dogecoin has, even with the pullback that they're seeing right now. Uh, we got a couple people saying that they went shopping. Couple people talking about they went shopping. Nice, nice, nice. What did y'all pick up? Ave looking nice. Theta, uh, Lynn, Matic, Rune looking phenomenal. Rune looking phenomenal. Um, I don't even know if Miss Jerrica was live with us on the Discord this morning, but I hope you did take that little uh heads up I gave you last night on uh Matic and the Matic Bull. Peace, 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 family. How's everybody doing out there? How's everybody doing out there? Got people tuning in on all, all three platforms right now. We are streaming live right now on YouTube, IG. More XRP, more ADA, more MANA, more XLM. <laughs> Trying to get that NFT bond. 
I got somebody trying to buy one of them treasury bonds. Get some domain land too. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful, beautiful. We got people checking in. We're about 40, 50 deep over here on IG now. Um, for those that don't know, we are also streaming live right now on YouTube. Peace, Chicago. Thank you for getting me into and my fam into the crypto world. I'll say, I'll say to you, brother, uh, or sister Richard. No, nah, brother Richard. Well, Richard Lee, I'll say to you as well. Hey, it ain't me, though. You pulled the trigger at the end of the day. You know, I can't make nobody. Uh, we got UK in the house. We got UK in the house. That's beautiful. Uh, I'm looking at GRT. Let's backtrack real quick. Let me see. Let me come over here. Here we go. This is where we want to be at. So let's just take a look at the markets real quick. Take a look at um, just a couple of the coins. First, kick it off with Bitcoin. See how it's looking on different time frames. Let's get rid of that right there. Bam. There we go. All right. So we did have a uh, real beautiful, real, well, not beautiful, but we did have um, bullish divergence on a four hour with Bitcoin, which gave us the uh, go ahead to get our entries made. Looking for moves just up to the 50 percent right now, which is where all your major moving averages are about fifty six thousand one hundred and ninety dollars. It's more of a currently sitting right now. So uh, but the entry was looked at at around forty nine thousand four hundred and seventy five. You know what I mean? That's where our entry was looked at at. And just a real quick, quick move to the upside before we proceed and see any type of higher highs. Let me see. Before we get into this, in fact, let's see what type of uh, Bitcoin news we have out here in the world. Now, let me say this, right? Let me say this. When Bitcoin dipped, it was a lot going on about some power outage in China or some whales doing this, that and the third. But for those that are part of the discord, right, what we was looking at more so than anything, right? was this bullish divergence right here excuse me bearish divergence so on the daily right you got let me get this trend line here one tick right two tick right three tick and then we proceed right so now you're looking you're still not out of that bearish divergence you still got to break this down sloping trend line right here now what is bearish divergence for those that don't know let me get rid of this real quick Let's just repopulate this. Let's get rid of that. Pull this from here. Back down to here. Right. Now, what are you seeing? Well, if we look at each point here, 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 and here, right, on the chart. Let me get rid of this real quick. In fact, let me turn this on the line graph. Sometimes it looks better on the line graph. There we go. So now what you're seeing is a divergence or a difference between the two, right? Between the divergence or a difference. Uh, hold on. Somebody would try to call me while I'm, hold on real quick. Ah, okay. I tagged this nigga in the post about NFT with physical. Then this nigga drop an NFT with a physical and say I came up with this. What are you talking about? NFT with a physical? What are you talking about? Oh, this nigga must be a troll. He said I tagged this nigga in the post about an NFT with a physical. Then this nigga drop an NFT with a physical and say I came up with this. Came up with that. I don't even know what the fuck you talking about, family. Uh, Mr. Mac, you sound like a clown ass nigga. Fuck on somewhere. Been talking about NFTs for over a year, clown. Uh, but anyways, looking at the bearish divergence right here, what you're seeing though, right? You got a high, higher high, higher high than another higher high. But when you're looking at the relative strength index, you got lower highs being formed, right? This is class A bearish divergence. Let me see. Let's get an example up real quick. Let 
right? So what is bearish divergence? A bearish divergence occurs when prices continue to form higher highs, typically in a bull market, while your oscillator, in this case, the RSI, is forming significantly lower highs, indicating what? Weakness in the trend. So seeing this, right, that last tick right there was right here. What price was Bitcoin at? Around 64, 60 grand. So now they can say that it was because of a power outage that the price dropped, right? But I would say it's because of the bearish divergence that the price dropped. So, you know, it's all about what you want to listen to, the information that they share, and the skill level, the skill sets that you have to come in and really make your own projections versus what, you know, the news or anything. I mean, anytime I see public news, I take it for what it is. Shit, they want to tell the public. You know what I mean? Other than that, I really don't give it that too much weight. Reason being because I can come look at the charts. We got Louisiana in the house. Finally, a YouTube live. Been waiting for a long ass time. Lucked out today. <laughs> What's going on, Crypto Bees? Um, is that a four hour chart? Nah, this is a daily. Nah, it's a daily chart. Nope, daily chart. So we were for those that are part of the Discord, man. We've been looking for this drop to come for a while now. You know what I mean? Based off of the bearish divergence. And now we still not out of the woodworks. Why? Because we got to come up and we still got to break this. Now, what does this mean? It means we can hit high, higher highs once again and still make a higher low on the relative strength index, which will still be bearish divergence, which is still be telling you that you have a downtrend possibly coming in. So let's take a look and see what type of news we got out here, though. Let's just look up Bitcoin real quick. See what we got going on newsworthy. Bitcoin bounces higher as JP Morgan warms. Ethereum eyes news records. Okay, so we, JP Morgan may offer actively managed Bitcoin fund. This is funny. JP Morgan preparing to launch of managed Bitcoin. So this is all in the news today. JP Morgan, JP Morgan, JP Morgan. This is what we got all in the new, news right now. Uh, somebody said, how can I sign up for classes in the Discord? Right now, I really ain't doing classes. Um, I still got a long list of people that I need to work with that's been waiting. So right now, I'm not taking in new students, new classes. Uh, the Discord is on hold. Also, uh, for uh, other than those that have worked with me before, but like anybody new, my Discord, I'm real selective about who joins it. You know what I mean? I'm real selective about the energy I let come in there. So like, if you follow me for the first time and asking about the Discord, I'm be honest, you're probably not going to get in there if I don't know you. Um, but for those that have been rocking with me for a while, it's always open on the first. Um, you know, just 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 interact. Just just show your interaction. Yep, yep, yep. Default. Yep, default. You say you need sushi. Hey, we just got done taking a look at uh sushi, J Blood. Just got done taking a look at sushi. Kano, what's going on? Let me see. Bitcoin track for biggest bounce since February on Musk tweet. See, this the type of shit. <laughs> so they're saying that Bitcoin on track for the biggest bounce since February on a tweet off of Elon Musk family. We just made this bounce based off a of four hour bullet bullish divergence, not off of Elon Musk tweet. You know what I'm saying? Look at here. Look at here. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. They're saying it's because of a tweet. I'm saying right there. And then we also have. Hold on. Right here, we have higher lows on both oscillators, right? They're saying it's a tweet. I'm saying it's TA. Right? So now this is what we have. Let me show y'all this. We have lower highs, right? So now I see the divergence. Lower high, higher high, higher. I mean, excuse me. Lower low, higher low, higher low. Excuse me. So now we're looking at the lows, right? So now we're looking at the lows. Miss Lex look Miss Lex Luther. Or Lex um uh, Miss Lex. I'm gonna be hitting you as soon as I'm done with this. Though the um consultation will probably be after 5 p.m. as you stated in the text. I got you, I got you, I got you. And for look, for anybody that's reaching out to me through text, emails, DMs, please I want y'all to understand. I literally got probably 50 of each all across the board. And and when I don't answer one, 
and I let it fill up, you get knocked down about 10 or 15 on the list and it takes me a while to go through these. So I want everyone to understand, I don't ignore nobody. Some of y'all even getting texts and, and messages from me from a month ago, three weeks ago. That's because I'm trying to go through and answer everybody. But it ain't easy when you're doing this shit on your own. You know what I'm saying? But no, no I'm going to make sure I reach everybody, though, that reached out to me. I don't, I don't, I don't leave nobody behind. Anyways, though, looking at this, right? So we have a lower low, higher low, higher low on the oscillators, right? So let's see. What, what is this? This is what I'm saying the uh, move was based off of. Mm -hmm. All right, so a bullish divergence occurs when prices fall to a new low while an oscillator fails to reach a new low. This situation demonstrates that the bears are losing power and that the bulls are ready to control the market again. Often, the bullish divergence marks the end of a downtrend. So now they're telling you it's off a tweet. I'm telling you it's off TA. You know what I'm saying? This is the shit they try to feed y'all and then y'all run with it like, oh, Elon, man, I don't care about none of that. I've been trading off the charts and just the charts for since 2017. I don't care about tweets. I rarely let the news dictate what I am going to do in some way, shape or form. But for the most part, it's all the charts for me, family. That's why I say this is key. You want to get rich? Learn the charts. Don't follow nobody. Don't follow me. Learn what you can from me. Take what you want and, you know, leave the rest. You know what I mean? What is TA? TA is technical analysis. My fault. TA is technical analysis. That's being able to decipher what you're seeing right here on this these screens. That's all TA is. And being able to allow it to, um, with me, right? This with me. I used to do art. So to me, this is just drawings. This is just art to me. And the arts create pictures, and those pictures tell me a story. And those stories basically explain to me what I should do with my movements. That's how I explain this stuff because that's how I learned. I didn't learn through a school. I didn't take a program. Nobody taught me this. I learned it on my own. So this is just art to me. It's just really drawing pictures. That's all this really is. So if we go back and we look at the original move on XRP, right? It was called at around 49 cents. Let me open this up real quick. In fact, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you exactly how I did the move on XRP. So let's go to XRP USD. Let's go to Bitfinex. Let me see. So let's get rid of this. Bam. Let's put back on our bam. Right. Let's open this up a little bit. Get rid of that. There we go. So now, what are you looking at here? Some people might say we're just looking at a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but you're not. First thing I see is higher lows. Like so, right about there. And then I also see, watch how I draw this. I also see a resistance band right there, right? So now I got my higher lows. I got my resistance band. Then I come in and I look at what it's created for me. And in my opinion, this is a triangle, right? So now I take that. Oh, hold on. I draw my triangle, right? And now I measure that triangle. And I go from the top to the support. And I take that. And that's going to give me my first move, right? That's going to give me my first move to the upside, which is going to end right about there. So now look what happens. We break and then bam. You know, give or take. I'm doing it pretty quick. But give or take, you see where your first target is. And then you consolidate. And then you continue. And then look what happens. You come back and back test that same move. It's just it's all it's all TA, but to me it's just drawing pictures though. How can you get XRP? Go to Coin Gecko, look up XRP, scroll down and hit market. It's gonna tell you where you can buy it from. Um, but yeah, all this is just art to me. It's just drawing, and the drawings tell me what to do. So it's almost like how the ancestors used to chart the skies, the stars, and they used to tell them, you know, what may happen in the future. Same shit with this, in my opinion. I'm just reading the charts though. That's all. Right, trade what you see. That's it. But um, let, let's let's actually. I want to go back to the news and see what they're saying about this Elon Musk tweet. Let's see. So I want to see what type of information they get. People, let me tune in on the uh, YouTube real quick. Make sure I'm take glad you're back, brother. What are your thoughts on Safe Moon? I ain't got no thoughts on Safe Moon. 
uh, where your Doge and where Doge is going since one of our one of the developers just passed away. I've never been long on Doge. Doge, Safe Moon, Pump Coins. I don't be long on them. I'm on solid projects. Never put a dollar in the Safe Moon myself. Um, I've traded Doge. Definitely traded Doge on and off. Uh, it's clever wallet, a good wallet, crypto wallet to have. Alternative to Coinbase. I wouldn't say alternative to Coinbase. It's a decent wallet to have. Um, I, I more so use Trust Wallet though than anything. Trust Wallet and MetaMask. That's a fair guideline for Discord membership. Most crypto Discord groups are wild as fuck. Yeah, they is. It'd be a lot of shillers in there. I'm not in there for that. And I really don't care about your money, what you want to pay to get in there. So it's not like I'm going to let every time Dick and Harry come in there just because they want to pay me. You get what I'm saying? It's really about learning. How can you get XRP from an exchange? Sign up for the exchange, send money to the exchange, transfer it for uh, or uh, swap it for XRP, then withdraw the XRP to your to your um to your wallet. Uh, why is this not coming up? Story. Let me see what's going on over here. All right, here we go. All right, so what's happening with XR? I don't know. Um, all are not welcome, <laughs> brother Boogie. Both he said, All are not welcome in the Discord. Stop that, brother Boogie. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin on track for biggest bounce since February off Elon Musk tweet on Musk tweet. Uh, Bitcoin is on track, blah, 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 blah. Following a tweet from an inter international with an international typo from Tesla co-founder and CEO Elon Musk. It goes on to say Elon was, uh, excuse me, Bitcoin was on track for its biggest bounce since February. Fo okay, following a tweet, blah, 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 blah. And it wasn't following a tweet either. It was still TA. Um, Bitcoin jumped 6.13% to 52,000 from an overnight low of 47,000 following a two-week stumble, according to Coindesk. The digital asset set a record at 64,829. Yada, 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 and fall, 200-day moving average, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to look for some, some solid information. Um, Bitcoin's latest nod to Bitcoin and crypto in general comes ahead of Tesla's quarterly results set to be released, released Monday. And it's in the first since the electric car maker added $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin to its balance sheet and also promised to increase its holdings. So that may be it, maybe because of the uh, earnings coming out. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency watchers. Highly attuned to Musk signals. First off, market, well, whatever. I ain't going to say what other people is doing. I'm not paying attention to do signals, though. We'll be paying close attention to any Bitcoin or crypto related statements in Tesla's first quarter earnings report set to be released after the market closed on Monday. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I wouldn't be saying what I'm saying if I haven't seen the shit coming to the charts before any of these tweets come out, before any of this news come out. If I didn't see it in the charts first and then see the reaction that comes from the charts, I wouldn't say that the tweets have nothing to do with it, but I see it too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Let me see. Bobby owned one of the largest independent, blah, 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 that the recent Bitcoin was a result of a lot of fear and uncertainty spreading on social media due to various factors. I'm telling y'all, they say this shit to the public, but then we go and we look at the charts, right? So they're saying all this, oh, the dump was due to this, the dump was due to that. But then we come and we just look and we say, but hey, there was a uh, bearish divergence here in it. On the last ticket, uh, it dumped off the bearish. I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. You know what I mean? But you know, follow your nose. Uh, let me see what other news we may have. Let's see what news we got for DeFi. Let's see what news we got for DeFi. And I really came live today, family, without a plan or anything. Just wanted to go live. Haven't been live in a minute. I mean, it's the beginning of the week, so I thought, what better time? Let's see what type of DeFi news we got. Re Russian ex-banker Lebedev launches DeFi business. Pancake swap, lending to a DeFi, DeFi deep dive, kind of king of Ethereum. Hmm. Proposed tax hike could be massively bullish for DeFi and the crypto, according to the Masari CEO. I want to see why would why would that be bullish? Let's see what they're talking about in the daily huddle. Thoughts on BNB? I've been telling people to buy BNB since BNB was four dollars and fifty cents. So my thoughts have been bullish since BNB was four dollars and fifty cents. I'm not gonna tell you to buy it now at five hundred and some odd dollars, but uh, you know, I'm bullish on BNB. Hold that dojo's that doge just in case. Yeah, if you got it, you know. Um, been trying to get in your Discord for a while, brother. Mayor Jam Rock Sailor, I got you. I uh, I'll reach out to you. 
fanboys be killing me. <laughs> yeah, the moon boys, the fanboys be killing me too, man. It's all well though. Let them be them. You know, we'll we'll pick up the scraps. We'll we'll sell to those that come in and buy the pumps. So it says the CEO of a crypto intelligence firm, Masari, says that the Biden administration's proposed tax hike on capital gains could be bullish for crypto and decentralized finance space. In a new interview on CNBC, Ryan Selkis says that investors may turn to DeFi, which I've been talking about for over two years now. Two years. Amid plans to increase the federal capital gains tax rate to as much as 43.4. He wanted to say 44 percent. Just couldn't do it from its current rate of 23.8%. If you think about the capital gain issue, one of the unintended consequences might be that more capital is locked into this crypto ecosystem long term and medium term. Ultimately, that's going to be the benefit of this entire new class of assets. They're referred to as DeFi assets, essentially being able to borrow against existing holdings rather than sell them and trigger a taxable event. Oh, my God. Come on. Man. How long have I been saying this for, family? How long have I been saying this for? Anyways, you might have structurally higher interest rates. You might have a better tax set up to invest in those assets and those protocols in that ecosystem versus taking money out of the equation. So I think there's a lot of the upside in this market. Remember, you're, you're issuing yourself debt. You're issuing yourself debt when you use these platforms. The lecture in the city was fire. You came to the lecture in the city? This nigga said I'm a snake in the grass. We must be in your panty feelings, boy. You really feeling your panties this morning, ain't you? Hey, I can get real ignorant, boy. Y'all really don't don't know. Hey, look, I'll be all well with the king and queen, but I can get real ignorant, but it's all well. I'm just gonna block buddy. I don't even know who he is. Um, let me see. I want to say at the current right now, I ain't worried about buddy. At the current rate, uh, the current Bitcoin correction, Selkie says the dip can bring in a new wave of buyers. Peace, 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 queen. What's going on? Uh, if you look at the performance, I'm gonna erase this. Uh, I'm gonna erase this 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 laugh too because I don't like talking ill. Say say what, Queen? Easy five down right now. What you mean? Oh, the platform. They said they had a security thing. I put it in the uh, storyboard. Good looking, good looking on the update. Yep, live on IG, YouTube, Discord. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna waste my energy. But it says if you look at the performance just year to date, the total crypto market cap is still up 100 percent. Bitcoin is still up 65 percent. So even though we come back at about 25 percent, that's just the normal course of volatility. If you look at any other time period outside of that one week, 24 hour and one month, Bitcoin and crypto at large are still the highest performing asset classes and the highest performing mega assets. So this could be a, buy, a good buyer opportunity. Selkis also explains why he thinks that the crypto market has not yet reached the top. Believe it or not. Even though we've had a major run up this year, I don't think we reached the top either. We haven't seen something analogous to the last couple of cycles where the to local top and that silical top is really marked by a doubling of Bitcoin and Ethereum price in less than a week, which is an insane pace of growth. We haven't seen anything close to that. So I think if you're looking for a blow off top, this probably isn't it. It's probably just that usual course of volatility. And we actually expected a typical bull cycle to have six pullbacks to six pullbacks of about 30% or more. We've had three so far versus six in 2017, for instance. Now, that's another thing I don't do, right? I don't look at what happened in 2017 and be like, oh, okay, we're back in 2017 again. Because we're not. We're in 2021. So you can use that and be like, oh, well, this happened then, so we can look for this to possibly happen. But for me to say, hey, this happened in 2017, so because this, this, I don't do that. I play it how it is right now in these days and times. The Morris lecture was an eye opener. I'm Dre. Got you. Got you. Yeah. If you, if you came to the Morris lecture, you can come into the Discord. Like I say, it opens up on the first. Just uh, DM me. I got you. Just DM me. Let me see. Da 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 da. But yeah, I don't, I don't base nothing off 2017, man, because this ain't 2017. Bitcoin breaching 54,000. And let's see on a four hour chart, right? Let's see what we got going on. Let's just focus on Bitcoin for now. Let's just focus on Bitcoin. All right. So what do we have? We have a break of a 50 day exponential moving average. We are looking to show support above that level, which actually coincides. If we look in the past right here, bam, previous support right there. We've broken previous support, which we back tested as resistance right there. Now we're looking at it as support. And now we can look for extension, at least up to the 100 day exponential, which comes in at 55.2. That'd be like my next you know, possible target area. 
if we're able to hold support above the 55, which is just about 2.4% uh, return. It's the year of the ox, the bull market. I've been hearing that. I've been hearing that. I've been hearing that. Um, so, yeah, first and foremost, just look for extension back up to the 100-day uh, exponential and then look to break the 200-day exponential. And then from there, you look for all-time highs, especially once you get that that break. On, and remember, we're just on lower time frames here. But once you get that crossover of the 20 and the 200, so basically this red line crossing over this blue line right here, that's when you should see a nice, nice, nice move to the upside. Um, it usually follows with bullish moves. Um, and let me see just real quick. Just using the fibs. There we go. Just broke a 236 at 51,886. 444. It was just 444. Did I miss it? Um. Oh, no, right, right, right now. You came on the boring day. I got you. I got what you're saying. I got what you're saying, my man. Um, we are above our 236. So now we're going into the, or we're looking to go into the golden ratio, right? Which is between the 382 and the 618. This is your normal level of retracement when you're using the fibs. So then these will be your profit taken once you cross over this level right here. First target will be there. Oh, hold on, let me use this, in fact. Price range. There we go. That'll be your first target. Uh, but hold on. That's the. There we go. We want price range. Put that back. There we go. There we go. About 5%. Then we look at about 8.79%. And then we look at about our last target, 12.73%. So those are your three target taking areas right there, just using the FIB levels, moving averages, and drawing a picture. No doubt, Queen, go ahead and reach out. Okay, the chart is making more sense each time I study. Oh, yeah, this is going to take repetition. I'm going to tell y'all something. Maybe people that, that, that get me for an hour consultation and think you're going to walk away and learn how to read these charts and you never looked at them a day in your life. It don't, it don't work like that, y'all. This is something you're going to have to do every single day. Let me not say every single day. If you want to get it, you're going to spend every day on this, at least a couple of hours a day. And honestly, it took me about to where I'm able to actually break this down and see somebody else probably about a year or more to really get it. You know what I'm saying? So this ain't nothing that you're going to sign up for some class. That's why I don't sell the whole, hey, mastery class, become a master, all that bullshit. I don't do that. I'm just going to teach y'all something, and you're going to go from there. Whatever you learn, you learn. However you push, you push. The more you elevate, the more you're going to elevate. But me telling you you're going to be a master after taking one of my classes, I don't ever say that. I just say I'm going to teach you something. You're going to be able to use those teachings to, to help you and your family. That's it. That's all. But as far as that, you're going to be a master after BS. But, uh, yeah, this is what we're looking for real quick. Where do you get the chart from? Tradingview.com. Tradingview.com is where you get the chart from. Um, let's take a look at the market real quick. Let's take a, who, who's been uh, dealing with Kava since I've been talking about it. Who's been messing with Kava since I've been talking about it? Uh, I know Brother Michael, Brother Boogie, a couple of other of us. That's Miss Jerrica. We got we got back in. In fact, let me show y'all how 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 much ahead of the game it be sometimes. Let me see. What am I looking for? New. New Money Matrix. There we go. New Money Matrix, pop, Apple Podcast. Let me see. Let me show you how old this, this Kava video is, though. Because I really gave, I gave the heads up on Kava before Kava was even live. Let me see. How long ago was this? This is 2020. Now we got to go back to at least 2019, I think. Multi-collateral die. That was November of 2019. I was talking about MCD, which is multi-collateral die before they uh even had it to where you look. Maple Smart Bombs, that was 2019. Man, it's, it's some jewels over here on this uh podcast for y'all that ain't tuned in yet. No matter how old it is, some jewels. For real, for real. I'm about to do a new podcast today, though. I'm about to upgrade update today. Um, let me see. Where is that cobble? 
Because you do want to go listen to the old Kava video. Look, InstaDap Upgrades 2019. What is C die? X die. Telling y'all about X die in 2019. Mentoring synthetics 2019. Synthetics was under a dollar. Let me see. I'm just looking for. And this is what I mean about not riding the hype of things. I don't I don't ride hypes. Let me see. Damn, was it that long ago? What is Ethereum? Look, I did a whole breakdown of what Ethereum is. 44 minutes. Damn, look at that. 44 minutes. Slick shit. Yep, it's on Spotify. Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts. Um, dang, what is it? iTunes. It's on all of those. We're doing some, I'm going to be doing some new videos, though. There we go. XRP, Kava, Cosmos, and Decentralized Financing. May 24th of 2019. May 24th, 2000. Kava wasn't even available yet. Kava wasn't even available yet. Blue Pill, what's going on, big homie? Hey, you said you want relief from poverty. Get Kava. I snatched up BNB like I was going crazy and then started going up to 300, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, go check out this. this uh. Go check out this podcast right here, 2019. Right, but yeah, you definitely want to check this one out too. If you don't know what Ethereum is, 44 minutes for you. 44 minutes of Intel. What is Ethereum? But no, nah, Kava's had a real nice journey since then. Look, it came out October 2019. When was the uh when was this made? May of 2019. You got to get up pretty early in the morning to get ahead of the uh, head of the bully, and that's when it was what fifty cent dollar. <laughs> now we have four dollars and eighty cent, man. So you know, beautiful follow through here. Um, let's see, who else we got over here that we've been paying attention to for a while? Oh, room. Man, I don't even want to look. Room's room's kind of crazy right now, but oh, so one that you do want to pay attention to that is actually working with the Kava platform is the hard token. Right now, coming in at a dollar forty-six, only a dollar dollar forty-six right now. Just starting to get its wings, right? Just now starting to get its wings. Um, let's let's real quick take a look and see what we can see here. You dropping any new update? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna be dropping a new podcast today. It's New Money Matrix. I'm, I got a couple of episodes I want to record today. New money matrix for the uh for the podcast if that's what you're asking about. Let's see. Let's open this up on a daily real quick. Let's see what our new highs for uh hard could be if we do get follow through here. That is. So right now you are below all major moving averages on the daily. Well, you're not even prostrating the uh a 200 day exponential because it's too early in the game. That's another thing. When you're real like this early in the game, I'll be honest with y'all. T O T A only works so much, but I use it to give me a little bit of edge. I just use it to give me a little bit of edge. All right. So first thing I see is that the 100 days coincided with the 236, which would be a first level of resistance. That's a dollar 62. You're only at a dollar 46 right now. So you can at least pop. Let me see if they can still see me on uh, YouTube before I go forward. Hold on. Yep. Damn, I ain't been paying attention to no. Let me check some of these uh, comments over here. There's a few low cap gems with big backers, only up less than 100. Convo, Cono, CCCG. I'm not invested yet. Waiting till payday. Oh, shalom, shalom, hotel. Islam, salam alaikum. Uh, da, 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 da. Discord. Okay, Discord's on YouTube. Nice. Bro, what's your take on Soul? Uh, I'm long on Soul. Uh, we'll take a look at the charts, though. Have you been watching Soul, SRM? Yep. For those of the part of the Discord, y'all know I dropped Serum, what, like three, four? Man, I forgot when. Uh, but nah, we, we dropped Serum a while ago. So, which chart are we looking at here? Yeah, we're on hard. Okay. Wait, now, is it? Yep, it's on hard. Okay, we're on the right chart. All right, so this would be your first level of profit taking, right? Well, not profit taking, but this would be your first target right here. This is what you're looking to target at 236. Now, normal levels of retracement are between what? The 382 and the 618. So now you're looking at target between 189 and 232. But on a, on a, on a macro move, right? On a macro move, 
once we break our previous high, I'm always looking at the 1618. That's $4.16 from your current entry of $1.46 on hard. Now, all that is only in play as long as, hold on. There we go. As long as the support here can hold, which is about a dollar thirty-one. So as long as you're holding support above a dollar thirty-one, damn, look at that. I didn't even base it off that previous support here. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, this is your major support right here. Anything holding from here, breaking your all-time high, um, four dollars and sixteen cent would be my next target. Thank you, Purple uh, Magic Sea Moss. Thank you. Raw one, what my homie Raw one say? What's your thoughts on BTC crypto space move approaching the full moon? Let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Over here. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. All right, let me see what we got over here. Let's get rid. Is it the phases or the cycles that I want though? That's a good question. Come on, why did it freeze? Hold on. Do I got too many? Let me see. Bam. Nah, it's just ah, oh, okay. I know it's I know what it's doing. There we go. Get rid of that. Ran towards it. Ran towards it, ran towards it, ran towards it, ran towards it. Hmm. What date does it come in, Raw? I'm looking at the daily right now, y'all. Um, what day does the next uh, moon come in? The real artist, Gemini. What's going on, Queen? Hey, I got I got a certificate for you too, Queen. I'm gonna send one over for you for uh, taking the class. What was the last chart for? What's the name? It's today, Ashe. Thank you. Thank you. Also, it comes in okay. today. What's today? Let me see. Full moon and Scorpio. Full moon and Scorpio. Full moon Scorpio. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Um. Yeah, blue say tonight. Blue say tonight. Oh, this is hard. We talking about Bitcoin though, right? We're looking at hard. I'm looking for 162 out of hard. Um. Bitcoin, we got our target set up already. Oh, hold on. I didn't want to do that. Oh, excuse me. Correction. It actually was um two days ago. Two days ago? Oh. It was it was on the twenty fourth, but the energy carried three days before and three days after. Okay, okay. So the moon was big and bright last night. Let me see. Yeah, right. Basically it's still moon. Moon, but it was at the peak on the twenty fourth. Okay. Cool. Nah, well, on here it says 26 tonight. Full moon comes in tonight, 26, 11.33 p.m. Oh, that's what they say? On the, on the internet. This, hey, this is the internet now. It's the internet. The my internet face, saying tonight. Uh, my face app says it, was the it started on the 24th, I believe. Right, see, I'm going, I'm, I'm looking at internet. 24th, 26, I ain't splitting hairs. We there. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna split hairs. We there. We already got some of our targets set up here. So we're looking at about, I mean, I'm looking for these to get hit for this for, for this uh, full moon energy, brother. Raw. But hey, let's get it. That's what I'm looking to get hit. Cake, we just had Cake hit one of our targets. We had entry down here at around 22. Cake hit our target for a 49% return based off of no. What was this return? This was 49%. But what was our earlier entry on cake? 102% return. And that was based off our entry down here at $16.89. So 
And we're looking for continuation from there. Right now, we're getting blocked out by the 2618, $34.39. You see, we did breach, hit. And this is why I say TA is so important because it allows you to take your profit at the right time. That means, bam, your profit would have just got hit. And right now you're seeing the pullback. Now, whether you took all profit, partial profit, however you did it, the, the main thing is if the target gets hit and then it retraces from here and pulls back, you're not hoping in which, oh, fine, I got to sell now, get a little bit of profit. No, you took your profit because you weren't greedy looking for too much more than what you already added up for yourself. You get what I'm saying? Yes, it's like bull move upwards to full moons. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It was a safe moon. <laughs> brother Nitty, what's going on? No, Brother Nitty, what's going on? <laughs> I like that. I like that. Let me see. Let's take a look at safe moon real quick. If we can uh, take a look at the charts. Let me see. Mm-mm. Let's look at it versus United States dollars. Hmm. Let me see. We are on logarithmic. Let's see. Open this up 12 hour, four hour. All right. Nice bounces, though. Nice bounces. Um, I mean, from where you're currently at, if you hold support here, you're looking at about a, if you do get back up to previous, excuse me, uh, resistance. Look at about 119% return. That's if, big if. Um, let me honest, say big if. Market running. A lot of shit's running. It really don't matter. It's really not a testament. Let me say this too. For anybody that's in earshot right now, let me tell y'all something. The fact that you make money off of something and the fact that something goes up does not legitimize it. Now, I'm not just, I'm not talking about safe moon. I'm talking about projects in general. There's a lot of poor piss shit projects that people are pumping right now that have absolutely no utility behind them. I'm telling y'all. Just because you make money off something does not legitimize it. Doesn't mean you were right. That's another thing. Let me say this too. For those that are in this space, kind of new, you're making money. I'm going to tell y'all something. Don't let the fact that you're making money think you know what you're doing either because a lot of times it is, this isn't a shot. This is actuality psychologically. If you don't know how to read these charts and you're successful right now and you're thinking that, damn, every time I buy something, it goes up. So I'm the shit. You're wrong. I'm going to tell you something. You're, you're actually... You're just in a good market right now. It's in a bull market. You can throw money at the wall. It's going to stick to something. And you're going to win with it. You get what I mean? So, man, understand the space. and Understand what you're doing. While the market is running good, you don't have to do too much. Because you don't want to learn how to chart in a bear market. I'm going to tell you all that now. You don't want to have to come back and learn this shit while the prices is dropping. Over the next year, year and a half, six months. Whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So... Man, learn that stuff now. Don't wait until everything dumps out and you're like, oh, well, how do I catch and how how do I set a stop limit? You're down 60% asking how to do a stop limit now. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, everybody make money in the bull market and everybody's right in the bull market. Everybody is right in the bull market. That's why me personally, I can't wait till this bear market come. So I'm going to see who's still standing. I'm going to be here, though. I, I lasted the last one. Still here. So when that bear market comes, it's going to show you who's really serious about their craft. Look, somebody just said they made whatever off of uh, 300K off of Shiba and they don't know shit. That, and that's how it is. That's how it is. You know, but um, let me see what's going on. 8 a.m. Let me see. I guess I'll open it up to questions and comments real quick. Um, but yeah, safe moon. Let's just look at a at a at a low risk, right? Let's say if we were looking at a low risk here. Damn, oh, hold on. We want to get this here. Come about right here, right? We look for entry. We look for stop, which I wouldn't play anything. And why is it like that? Probably about right there. And then we'd be looking at, you know, I mean, first thing you got to do is break your previous high here. So now you're looking at about 11% loss for a 16.7% return. But if you can break that, move back up to your previous high, looking at about 11% loss for a 115% return. How do you look at this number wise? With $100, you're going to lose $11.22, but you're going to make 115 bucks. With $1,000, you're going to lose $112, but you're going to make $1,115. With 10 grand, you're going to lose $1,100. But you're looking to make eleven thousand. If I'm doing the math right, 
Someone just dropped almost 100K on Safe Moon. Yep, that's cool. My money won't go over there. Uh, well, on a trade, you know what? On a low low level trade like this, I could I could gamble with something like Safe Moon. I could gamble with it. But as far as me dumping 100K in Safe Moon, absolutely not. I'll put 100K in Kava before I do that. Now, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. People, Safe Moon to be up and be like, oh, he was fucking wrong. Kava Moon. No, that don't mean that. That don't mean I was wrong. Nothing. That just mean I went with the more solid project. Um, most make money in a bear market. Period. Yep. Yep. Facts. Facts. Um, let me see what else is on here that I've been wanting to take a look at. Hold on. Yeah, Kava on fire. Super. Somebody's sending me some pictures. Who is this? Well, I can't look at it right now because I'm on here. But uh, Congo, I'm gonna call you today, bro. Um, I see you been hitting me. Been a lot going on on my end. Got to hit you back, brother Rich. Uh, Blue, I got to hit you. Grand rising, grand rising, beloved. Somebody just tell me said I'm on fire. I don't know. Grand rising. Uh, family, any questions or comments? Let me check YouTube real quick. Let me close out with some questions, comments. It's gonna be even fuller tonight. That's the super moon. Full moon was last night. I saw it. Just probably anyone here listening to Osaru? Any occultists in the house? Uh, what? Damn, I need to get in. I don't even know what he's talking about. No answer from my YouTube. They from YouTube why they were down. Hmm. I don't know what he's talking about. How we love YouTube glitches. Soul is backed by FTX owner. Hotel. Da, 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 da. I right, no questions over there. Love the Congo NFT. Congo, I'm coming for that. Hey, look, bro, I still ain't forgot. I'm about to do that. Man, I say I'm going to do it every day. Just don't find the time to do it. I'm just going to give you some money, Congo, so you can give me that uh, NFT, and then we'll figure out the whole everything else after that. Yeah, I still like Bow, and I still like B-Pro. Thoughts on Theta? Hey, look, man, I've been talking about Theta since I was telling people to use the Theta TV network like a year ago, maybe a year, a year and a half ago. Uh, the podcast, you can just Google New Money Matrix. It should take you there. Oh, that man, Battle made us crazy money. Are there any Ethereum tokens that you feel are not worthy of investing in? There's over 9,000 different Ethereum tokens, bro. There's, there's probably a couple, there's probably about 8,800 that you don't want to invest in. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell, which, I'm not gonna tell anyone which ones not to invest in. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, like, like which ones don't invest in? I can't tell you that, man. I don't give financial advice anyways, y'all. I'm not a financial do advisor. Research. Let me put that out there. What you want? What you need, Queen? What you want? Tell them do their research. Oh, yeah, definitely always do your own research. I mean, if I if I if you would have asked which ones were good, I probably could have given, you know, when I then again, just go through my page. Uh what's your opinions on indices? <laughs> uh I don't trade the indices unless they're decentralized. So I, don't, I don't really trade the indices. I'm a cryptocurrency trader at heart. Thank you, uh, Saku Jackson. Thank you. Hey, I can't be nothing but honest. That's why people will come over here talking about I'm this and I'm that. I don't see how. I'm one of the most honest people y'all got in this space, hands down. I'm going to keep it funky with you because I don't care about the bread. I'm not after your money. Everybody else want to get your hands out of my pocket. Let me not say everybody, but in the crypto space, you got to be real careful. Futures, yeah, all I trade right. is futures contracts. All I trade is futures contracts. If I'm trading cryptocurrencies, it's futures contracts. Polkadot, I'm long on Polkadot. I'm taking all my Polkadot, putting it in the Venus and borrowing against it. <laughs> Which shoe should I <laughs> put on the left first tie? Remember, the rabbit goes in the hole. <laughs> the rabbit goes in the hole look out the other end. And that we got to talk to tire shoes. Is Bitcoin still solid to invest in, or, or is ETH better? There's no better in this space. There's no better in this space. ETH has its purpose. Bitcoin has its purpose. Now, if I was asking which one I would invest in or, over the other, me personally, I would be putting my money in the ETH over Bitcoin and then using the profits from ETH to invest in Bitcoin, something to that effect. It's a million different ways to spin it, though. Did I cop a virtual taxi? No, sir. I do not have a virtual taxi. I got virtual. I got virtual. Um, damn. Uh, Care Bears, cars, land, buildings, horses, dragons, paintings, shoes, glasses, clothes, avatars. Don't got a taxi, though. I don't have a taxi. But, uh, 
on YouTube asking where they learn to read charts? Um, I mean, I sat down and just looked at the charts every single day and made them make sense to me. Now, I can walk you through and show you how I learned how to make them. Uh, oh, but right now, I'm not teaching nobody. So uh, I'll probably be back in a while, though. You, no, in fact, my YouTube channel. If you're on YouTube, I got chart reading videos from two years ago. No, probably three or four years ago. I think they're still applicable today. I think you can still use them today. Also, Venus, even though it's $69, in my opinion, it's undervalued. If the Venus platform can do it, uh, comp compound it, undervalued in my opinion. Um, Sushi, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put y'all up on game that's watching right now. Sushi's $12.13. Check this out, though. For those that don't know, the Sushi Bull is only $0.72. Cents. Now, what is a sushi bull? It's an asset that moves three times the amount of the underlying asset. That means when sushi moves 1%, this one should move 3%. Now, what's the difference? I can buy, even if I just wanted to buy one sushi, right? Let's say I wanted to buy one sushi. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll try it out. One sushi is what, $12.15? How many of those can you, of, of these can you get with that same $12? And then what type of return can you get here from that same $12 with something that's only $0.07, cents, right? We're looking at about a 3000 <laughs> Y'all see that? 3,000% return, 3,400% return with only a what? 38% loss. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm going to end it after this, though. I'm going to end it after this one. Uh, thoughts on Decentraland? I've been talking about Decentraland for about three, four years. I, I, a lot of the stuff y'all going to ask me about, I'm just going to tell you I've been talking about it for years, so I'm not going to give like, oh, bullets on Decentraland. I've been bullish on it for three, four years. Do you have any videos on how to stake coins on the trust wallet? Not specifically on the trust it's real easy. The, the ones that are available on the trust, you upload them to the trust, you go to finance, you click on the one you want to stake, and then you uh, stake it. Just press stake. Just press deposit. Ave and Algorand. We've been using Ave for a minute. Algorand is one of the choice picks in our uh, Discord group. Where do you get Sushi Bull, FTX exchange? Yeah, I'll be trying to figure out the futures. They're easy. Just learn how to trade spot first. Thoughts on Pirate Chain? No thoughts. Don't know about it. Yeah, I got a few thousand mana. Nice. Uh, with that being said, I think I'm gonna end this now. It's eight ten. I gotta get on the road, and I gotta uh hey, schedule some people. Yeah, what you need, Queen? This is a private Discord question. You know we private over here. Ah, all right. Let me uh let me end all this then real quick. Give me a second. <laughs> let me end all this. We'll 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 pick back up on the Discord. Any thoughts on Dag? Nah, actually, I missed the run on Dag, but I'm going to be honest with you. BTC King, Brother Duncan, gave me the heads up on Dag a while ago. I just missed it. And like I said, I'm going to tell you all all the time. I only go with my, my, my spirit telling me to go. It could be something that somebody's like, hey, this doing that, blah, 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 blah. My spirit just don't tell me to pay it attention. I don't pay it no attention, to be honest with you. I might miss money, but I'm making money on something else that my spirit did tell me to pay attention to. So I'm all well. Binance Awards. Oh, they must have a Binance Awards or something. Somebody said, big up me on Twitter with Binance Awards. Nice. And I got two Twitter pages, too. Y'all can follow them. One's, a, uh, what is it? Amir the Noble? Something to that effect. I'll figure it out. Uh, SRK? SRK. What is SRK? I don't want to get into coin requests too much, but uh, Spark Point? Let's see. Let's see real quick. Spark Coin. It's only a penny. Oh, it just came out. Ooh, nice retest. I'm going to tell you something. Something like this, you had a real low low risk entry with Spark Point. If this is truly the whole chart and you just, just came out, I mean, you don't have too much to go off of, right? Ah, I hit the wrong thing. Hold on. But, I mean, you do have a, a, a base, which, I mean, you can tighten it up here to about a 15% loss. Off top, just hitting your previous high, looking at about 122% return. That's just off top. But if we look at our swing high to swing low, about three cent. So now you're looking at maybe 200% gain for a little less than a, hold on. There we go. 15.6% loss. So leave y'all with that one for Spark Point. What's your YouTube channel? Chicago Crypto Hustler, Cryptonomic Console. 
Well, no, there's two two different ones: Chicago Crypto Hustler and then Cryptonomic Council. I'm just Google all the glossary terms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Google is your friend. Are you using Coin Trader? What is Coin Trader? All right, charge.cointrader.pro. I was using that right here. If you're talking about this page right here, charge.cointrader. I was using that for Safe Moon, but for Spark Point, I was actually using uh, Trading View. So, with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Discord, I mean, not Discord, IG. Let me check YouTube real quick. Make sure there's no lasting questions over there. Do you think Decentraland crypto is a good investment? I, hey, I can't tell you that. Only you can tell you what's a good investment. I can just say I've been involved with Decentraland for about three years now, maybe four years. But um, I can't tell you if it's a good investment for you, family. What's a good investment for me may not be a good investment for you. You got to understand that. Thoughts on SafeMoon? Not putting my money in SafeMoon. I may trade it based off of this last chart, but as far as I'm not even going to say I'm putting any money in it now because it's going to give people the wrong idea. Um. Absolutely not. So now nah. I didn't put no money on safe moon. Didn't care about putting any money on safe moon. I'm going to say this. A lot of the coins that a lot of people talk about, I stay the hell away from. Be honest with you. Don't care about them. I got a, a long list of coins that I'm, I'm <laughs> dug in on. You know what I mean? So I got my own things to do. So really don't care about them. But uh, with that being said, I'm going to end this on YouTube. Thank everybody that came out. Like I said, I will be updating the uh, podcast today to the next one. Peace, power and prosperity family. I'm out of here.